Hey. So uh, I think I think whoever's idea it was for me to actually set up two involved games that are mildly technical was really not a good recommendation. I've got MBT and and OCS going at the moment and uh, bouncing around a little bit between the two. Uh, I did, I think, three turns of MBT after I got set up and I've just finished the first Soviet turn. It took a long time because you really got to sort of think through <clears throat> what your options are and what you really want to be trying to, trying to be able, blah, 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 blah. Thinking about what you want to possibly do in the following turn uh, as well, because <clears throat> you've got to have these key formations available and ready to, to pounce on opportunities, or you're going to use them to hammer your way through. But let's have a look at the board for OCS, and I'll talk through a few of the combats as I recall them, talk about the sort of free lunch you get with the uh, opening RD barrages and stuff like that, and kind of give you a feel for the gameplay on this uh tiny one mapper sort of eight turn scenario i'm not sure that it's a <clears throat> let me just switch I, i'm not sure that it's a superb learning game like I, I don't think it gives you too much insight into how the the module specific rules are going to work because most of the front based stuff is not included uh, it does include the uh artillery stuff i guess but uh not everything else that's sort of core to the third uh the third winter module <clears throat> i've got a little bit of a croaky throat i think i'm my throat's very dry from the <clears throat> from being up here okay so uh just to sort of recap on the on the turn soviets have initiative to start with and they have uh, i don't know if you can see that or not so let's get a little bit closer here Soviets have some hefty, you know, Karaushes, I guess they are, however you say that. All right, these guys, big uh, divisional uh, batteries of units, uh, uh, batteries for artillery. I'm really doing a really piss poor job of explaining this, but nevertheless. And so <clears throat> in the opening, mo opening move, you can move up and then, you know, get within range of these, du these dudes that were here and you get a free barrage with everybody. Uh, and you can do three contiguous hexes. And all of these guys have to be adjacent. So we did that. We pulled the artillery out of the, the two mechanized formations and included them in the, in the beatdown. And we actually killed to put three step losses on a 16-4-3. So this guy. He had one loss already. So he was entirely eliminated. There's a, there is a, there's a remnant that is, is given to these 1643s. It's like a 222, uh, something like that. But I assumed that given that there were only two more step losses that were needed to kill this unit off, he must have had two step losses to start with, actually. There's his, his counter. Um, two step losses, and then he took three. I assume then that remnant would also be killed. So this, this opened up this massive hole. And in fact, all the units that were here ready to attack, they didn't need to. So uh, we just waited for the exploit phase, popped guys out of reserve, and then we, we moved 5th Mechanized and 5th Guard into uh, this area here. We tried to overrun the HQ and the artillery here and this, uh, this set of units here <clears throat> to no avail. In fact, the overruns didn't go very well at all this game. Uh, that the highlight of the game is so far as being the artillery killing units. Over here, uh, now, and I, and I forget which is first front and second front. I'm just trying to think back to Jaws of Victory. I think this is second front. And in any case, the easternmost front here, uh, we DG'd a row of units here, one, two, three, doing the same sort of thing. There's artillery here and another one here. And we pounded on these guys, got some DGs, took some step losses, and uh, then realized that we weren't uh, going to be able to get enough decent odds to really hit this particular hex, in, 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 uh, specifically because of the heavy woods here. And then this hex was light woods. I was suspecting that it was actually 
clear, so I didn't move any extra units in. And now I gotta be careful here. I, I tell you what, there's, here's one thing. Given that this is a small footprint, right? I am un unclear why MMP didn't just make this with larger hexes. Keep the counters the same size and everything, but just <clears throat> make this particular map with larger hexes. This is a very, very tight situation in here, and it's very easy to knock stuff around. You know, I've got these you know, aircraft stacked here, uh, and I know there are off-chart things you can do or off-map things you can do, but I, I'd like to see the units, otherwise I'd literally forget about them. So the, the attacks here didn't go as well. Uh, in fact, uh, let's see, I'm just having a quick look here. We got an AL-101 D01, uh, but the Germans elected to retreat, so that we just took uh, the, the Soviets took two step losses there. They could take the step loss, and then just to, to stay in place, they took uh, they took another step loss, and then advanced the uh, the remaining units on a two to one attack. That was pretty tough. Then I got surprise on the next attack in the middle in the light woods. That was a two to one, and we popped up to three up to five to one. That was an AO one E four and a DL one O two for the for the uh, Germans. In the uh, exploit phase, I pushed. Uh, I killed him off. Uh, he he went. Uh, he had the exploit, so I, I let him go do his thing first. Sorry about the focus there. Let him go do his thing first. He bounced off the artillery unit that was there. Uh, died. Uh, really sad. <clears throat> and then uh, I did, had a four to one with 29th tank uh, core and an 18th tank uh, powerhouse through. Also had a pretty crappy result though. It was a five to one that dropped down to down two levels, which it went and ended up being an AO one DO one oh one, right? Uh, and if you know the game, you'll know that that's the attacker has to take an option uh, after uh, has to choose his option. The defender has to lose a step DL one and DO one. The defender can either lose a step or then retreat a hex, subject to what the attacker chose to do. In all instances here, the attackers have chosen to lose a step because they want to push forward. It's, and I have a bazillion steps here, so we're just going to grind it out. Uh, the air war was inconclusive. Uh, the Soviets lost a step uh, of their uh, their precious little guard air. Uh, the, the Germans did pretty well. They haven't had a chance to, because it's uh, limited air, they can only move their air in the... Uh, move phase, <laughs> and they can only conduct missions in the move phase, uh, so we're, we're kind of limited there. But as you can see, uh, a pretty decent hole here. Not sure how we're going to manage that, and uh, you know the beginnings of a breakout there. So I'm I'm going to guess you know, once the Germans have their turn, and maybe they'll pull back a little bit because uh, you know this Shopla is a, or Shopla is a key a key location. Uh, once they pull back, uh, the, the Soviets will spend the extra points, uh, extra supply to keep initiative, and they'll have initiative coming into turn two. It's one of the optional rules, uh, one of the specific rules for this scenario. And you'll notice that, um, let's see, what else was I going to say here? I, I can't see this going eight turns. <laughs> uh, there's no supply for the for the Germans. The Germans have one SP here, one SP here, and a lot of armor that needs to move. I'm not gonna keep try and keep this this pocket going here. We gotta shorten up the line a little bit and see if we can't find a line somewhere around here to defend and see if we can't uh, chop up a few a few bad guys. If we can kill key armor units off uh, like these guys here. You know, eight four sixes. If I can actually hit those guys while they're situated as a four, that could really help the uh, the German uh, effort. But at this point, it's looking real real tough for them. So, quick quick update. Uh, it's the end of uh, the Soviet turn turn one, twenty sixth of January, nineteen forty three. Uh, we have uh, this German turn to come, and then seven more turns after that.